a bass. Hopefully it's a bass. It's a bass, it's a bass, it's a bass. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Finally! Hey guys, welcome to my second vlog, and today I will be fishing a topwater frog. So, a few days ago, Isha Monroe won an elite series tournament on the Mississippi River with his fat frog, fat daddy frog. And so I thought I'd try out catching a fish on a frog because I've never caught one before. I've used a frog, but I've never caught a fish on a frog. I also brought a follow-up bait just in case I need to use that. And so I'm gonna go after every elite series and use what the champions used and try out something new. So we are at my grandpa's right now. We are setting up and my dad's gonna use my grandpa's boat and he's gonna try and get some blow up shots of the bass eating the bait. I've watched some videos of bass uh, hit the frog and it's amazing. So I'm super excited to see what shots we can get in the other boat. No life jackets. Life jacket, now sunglasses. Bye princess, love you. As you can see, it's a very different weather from my first vlog. It's seven o'clock and 25 degrees Celsius, so it's gonna be a really hot day. But it might be too windy to go to the spot where I wanted to go, which is over there. So we might head to the causeway, but we're not sure yet. So let's go check the spots out and see which one is better. I think I'm gonna start this year. Do you see that? They're jumping all in there. Look! Oh my gosh! That's insane! So I'm in the spot where I wanted to go and and in the lily pads right over here, I'm seeing fish jump everywhere. Like they're they're all up in the lily pads. And if I get my frog in there. I, I'm hoping I can smash them. Let's get fishing. That's insane. That's insane. Look at them. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the right spot to be, right? In, in these weeds. Oh, it's like heaven. This is exciting. Oh, that's so awesome. I really want to catch one of these fish. Oh, I just saw a carp jump. Oh yeah, there, there, there's carp in here. I think that's what's jumping. Pop, 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 pop. Should we head to the causeway? Whoa, it is way too wavy. There we go. Going into the jungle, the mighty jungle. Up in here, up in here. Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh my God. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that almost gave me a heart attack. That was awesome. It's almost too weedy in here. How have I not caught anything in here? The motor's not working. Is it because of the weeds? Yes, it is. Here's a tip for everybody that goes fishing. Always bring extra right-sized fuses because when we were in the mighty jungle trying to catch me a frogfish, 
our motor got all swamped with weeds, and we blew a fuse. We got this one right here. This is the one that blew. And we have extra ones, but guess what? It's not the right size. Ugh. Could I start editing what we've got so far? No way! Are you serious? <laughs> Daddy got one. I can't believe you got one! I'm so mad! <laughs> So dad literally put his camera down for two seconds and it was your second cast? Yes, your second cast. And look what he caught. I'm so frustrated right now that I can blow up. Let's get this fish in the water, then go get that fuse so I can catch my very own. There we go. Let's go, daddy-o. were way bigger than we thought they were going to be. Look at how soaked I am. Let's go get a fuse. 30 amp, little teeny tiny one. Fuses. I think these are the ones. So we got some more fuses. Hopefully, we burn no more. Let's head home and take a nap, Dad. Okay. Adios. Dad's red camera and the boats are going back. Once again, we really need to plan this better. Let's get my froggy out. Nope. <laughs> oh, almost dropped my rod. I hear real frogs everywhere around here. I'm more angry than tired. Come on, fish. It's not possible. So, I've spent a lot of time into this video. Today I did nine hours of frog fishing, but I still have not caught a fish on a frog yet. So I'm gonna keep on trying and come out, come out maybe tomorrow or the next day or whenever the weather is good for frog fishing and never give up until I catch my very first fish on a frog. This may continue in a couple days, it may continue in a week, but I'll see you next time. There we go. Let's get fishing. Let's go to the lily pads. Skipping along the lily pads, everything's gonna be all right. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Whoa! Fish on! Yes, yes, yes! I knew the lily pads would be good. No, no, no! Did I lose him? No, I lost him! No! 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 Uh. Told you, lily pads are the best. Walk in the doggy. Wow, I'm getting really good at it. Wow, the water is like glass. Do you see it? Oh my gosh! I got him! I got him! Yeah! That was insane. It jumped right out of the water. You could see its entire body. It was insane and cool, but I caught the wrong fish again. But did you see that backflip? That was so cool. 
Let's get them back in the water. Thanks for the exciting fight, buddy. Go ahead. Bye! Insane! Insane! So the frogs are awake. And because we're frog fishing, we decided to go where they are. They are all up in this like cattail line uh, across the shore. So we're gonna fish this cattail line until the sun comes up higher in the sky and then we're gonna fish the lily pads because bass like shade. So there's gonna, there's gonna be shade under the lily pads. So we're gonna just fish this and then do that later on in the day. That was so cool. Like I can't get my mind off. <laughs> Excited. So last week, I literally fished for nine hours. Today, it took me an hour and a half. I'm feeling a lot better about frog fishing. I'm gonna come out and do this more often. Look at how pretty he is. Daddy even got the hit on camera. Super excited to see how he hit it. He was not getting off. That hook was like jammed into him. I'm so glad. So glad. Let's get him back in the water. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Okay, so the sun's higher and we're back in the pads. Gonna try here, but it's gotten a little windier. So it's gonna be hard to keep control of the boat, but hopefully we can catch some fish in the pads. That makes me mad. I need to put my back into the hook set. That one felt big. I probably scared all the fish away in a 10 mile radius. I could make a video just out of day two. Except there wouldn't really be a story to it. There has to be fish in here. Wow, this is really deep. on this guy. Look at the mouth. Woo! And this is like my first real true slop fish. Like I've never caught a fish in this like anything so sloppy before. It's awesome. So what the frog trailed across the slop and as soon as it hit the edge he smoked it. It was awesome. Now I should probably get this guy back in the water. Did you see him smoke it? And I like smashed it. Bye big guy. Well guys, that's it. My time is up. Dad has to get back to work. And last week I set out with the goal to catch my very first frogfish. And this week 
I achieved it. If I've learned anything, it's to not force things. Last week, it was windy and wavy and really hard to throw a frog. So I probably should have used a spinner bait. But this week, it was calm and, and sunny and hot outside, and, I, and it was easier to throw a frog. So I set out my goal this week, and I achieved it. I caught myself a frog fishing. Let's get home. Oh, I forgot the subscribe part. Okay, if you'd like to watch more content like this, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to take your kid fishing. They'll have fun.